So I'm just about to do my laundry, and uh, you know, I get some creative happenings when I do stuff like my laundry, and uh, uh, so I, I think I start a vlog, well, not necessarily when I do my laundry, but like other things that really have nothing to do with um, creativity it's in retrospect. I mean, it just, I guess what it does is it just fools my body and then somehow I start thinking of creative ventures, I would say. Just like, for example, like just before I go to sleep, I get a whole bunch of ideas or, um, you know, doing the dishes doing the laundry, waiting for the laundry to finish the wash cycle and to the dry, dryer cycle. So my idea was, and you know, also going to the laundry, is to perhaps do some brainstorming and title the chapter Brainstorming uh, of Prospects, of Ideas, and... Uh, you know, won't always necessarily be in a laundry mat, but um, that way I can probably discuss and uh, share, and hopefully that will inspire others. So uh, here I'm at the laundry, about to do a load. Well, I'm done the laundry now, and uh, sunset's getting down. Uh, earlier now it's almost a uh, quarter after seven and uh, let me see debating uh, doing this uh, series that I just came up with the other day and uh, it just came to me as I was going to sleep like a lot of things and I wrote it down and I just don't know in Hollywood how to do that so now I got like a, a blue sky kind of deal happening. A golden hour. I just uh, felt weird vlogging. Anyways, I got a, an idea. And uh, usually it comes to me at night. And so what I do is I write it down. And it's for a series. And I think it'll be pretty cool. Considering calling it sketchy. So... I just don't know how to pitch things like that. How do you go about pitching stuff like that? What do you do? What, where do you go? What? You know, I'm in Hollywood, and I got a few people I know, but I don't know if they'll be interested in it. And, uh, you know, do I write the pilot? Do I pitch the pilot? Do I uh, write a series, like 10 or 15 episodes, you know, pre-made? Do I shoot a pilot? These are the questions I have. So, any of you guys know, let me know. All right. Porta potty's going by me. Maybe it could be a zero to hero. It's an idea. Here we go. Andre's done. about 200 pounds on Saturday Garcia was wearing a burgundy colored shirt and gray pants. Town, trying to get on the five. Thought I would take the surface streets. Would uh, take uh, Cesar Chavez all the way to Sunset. But uh, I don't know if that was good. Now I'm getting on the 101 freeway. This is the worst time to get on the 101. I mean, nothing but a traffic jam. I should probably stop and you know, have a coffee or something and relax, but <laughs> anyways, here we go.
Central, they have this like workshop for uh, background. I consider myself an actor, but uh, you know, I made a majority of income doing stand-in work, uh, and I submitted for a rush call for a stand-in gig. Uh, hopefully that's appropriate. Hopefully that'll come through. It's for tonight. I doubt, though. I've been submitting, and yesterday I was a little late on set. I was early. I was like there at 6.48, but they changed the call to 8 a.m., and I thought the other call was my call, which was a, some, a different category for 2 p.m. So I go, well, I won't go home. I'll just hang out here until then. It's kind of embarrassing being there so early and not checking the line before. So I did that, and uh, then Central called me. So hopefully they didn't ban me for a month. That's what I hear they do. So I figured if I maybe make an attempt to show that I'm eager to work and I'm enthusiastic that hopefully they'll uh, they'll see that and book me instead of banning me for a month from what I gather is what they do. I mean, they were cool on the set. I was just like five minutes away and I kind of ran all the way there. Um, so two, today, uh, this week I worked two days on the same show. Uh, Monday was a long day and yesterday was a sort of a long day, but uh, you know, I'm all good for this week. If I could just get maybe another day, I'll be a little happier and uh, continue that cycle. So, uh, man, it's 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 tough out there. I you know not having the show to go f to again and starting from scratch. It feels like I am. Uh, hopefully, I can make some connections, and that that's what it's about: making network, making connections, and uh, s people are seeing that you're you know competent. <laughs> okay. So here I am. I'm in uh, basically uh, Canoga Park going home. Uh, I went to Central Casting for uh, a class, and the class was pretty good. I had uh, a great time Went up until I got a phone call, which was uh, basically my management company saying, Do you want to do a rush call? And I was like, uh, Okay, I'll do a rush call. Um, but I'm in this class, and then she goes, "Well, we'll call you back. We'll try to get somebody else." I said, "No, no, I can do it." And then I guess that other person they tried calling back, she hung up, and uh, they ended up trying to call me. I couldn't pick up the phone. Then they texted me that I was booked, and then I had to bail basically out of that class and that was kind of embarrassing I was like hey I gotta go I got I got, I got booked for a rush call they're like oh great great <laughs> and uh, unfortunately it wasn't a central job so I had to go from Burbank to Canoga Park um, it was a different company and so uh, you know you gotta do what you gotta do and uh, I had a great day I met another person that I met briefly. Um, his name was Joe, another stand-in, and he's been working on that show. So it was good to see a familiar face, nice guy. And uh, like I said, I had a great time, and the uh, struggle continues. So I'm just gonna continue writing my, uh, my series, Sketchy. I don't know what to do. Should I do a trailer? Should I do uh, the pilot? Should I write a pilot? I got definitely gonna copyright it and go to the DWGA. I don't know, and uh, uh, I'm really confident on doing a trailer, and then from that pitching it, maybe pitching the idea. I just don't know how to go about it. What should you do? You know, it's like I think it's a great idea. Um, a million people probably have that same concept, but uh, I think I can execute it. And then if I can execute it and still remain creative, like one interesting thing that the AD says, do shorts, you know, that that was at that class. Just for going there and him saying that really paid off for me going there, uh, even though it might have hurt my career being booked since I had the bail. I hope they don't hold that against me. But uh, anyways, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I'll do some 
bigger things like a TV series. Why not dream? Why not dream big? You know, that'd be great if I could go 15 seasons on something that I created and uh, and being successful and in helping other people work, you know, and helping another stand in or another actor, or another writer, or another director, you know, to create. Anyways, that's it. Time to go. Time to go home. Thank you.